Okay, so this morning we may be see we may be seeing new water restrictions in just a couple of hours. LA Mayor Eric Garcetti expected to make an announcement as our drought unfortunately gets worse. Worse. CBS 2's Cara Finch from live in downtown LA with the latest on what's going on with the city. Good morning, Cara. Yeah, we're talking about the drought, but when I want to start with something pretty lush. This is a little garden right in the middle of downtown LA, and check this out. These are called red birds of paradise. Very pretty, and over here. We have California lilacs, and I love that purple color. Going to pan around and give you a look at some of the other colorful options that you have to choose from if you're in the midst of transitioning to a drought-friendly landscape. This is in front of LAWP headquarters, and the city would like to see more of these little oases across the city. Later this morning, Mayor Eric Garcetti is going to hold a news conference at an Eagle Rock home whose owners recently planted similar succulents and drought-tolerant plants. Now, check it out. The Metropolitan Water District recently posted that there are numerous how-to programs available and some financial incentives for making such changes. The mayor will be highlighting some of those today. And as you mentioned, he's expected to make an announcement regarding watering restrictions. Then at 1 this afternoon, take a look. The state will host a virtual meeting on the drought outlook. California just experienced the driest first three months of the year on record. And as we head into the summer, water conservation will become even more critical. So the Metropolitan Water District Board, which channels water to local suppliers, has approved some of the harshest conservation rules. Uh, starting June 1st, about 6 million Southern California homes will be limited to watering outdoors once a week. The board says there simply is not enough water to meet demand. Back here live, these are some plants that, uh, as we've been talking about this morning, can help you still have a green, colorful garden uh, in the midst of all of these measures. And I want to give you another look. I, I showed you this earlier, but it's really cool. There are QR codes on all of these plants. So if you hit on them, what you'll get is a little explainer <laughs> about the plant, you know, what the needs are, where it will thrive, a, a little bit more about it. So very cool resource. If you're looking at making that transition, you can come check it out in person for yourself. Suzanne? It's gorgeous, Cara. Thank you so much for taking us through, and the QR codes are just perfect. Yeah, definitely helps out.